So today, I think what we're going to try to accomplish is I've been trying to get the rest of my windshield molding clips put in. Um, as I was going through and taking the windshield out, I ended up busting out a couple of these little studs that are kind of just tack welded on from the factory. <laughs> Those things, you can never really get a good weld behind them because they're so tiny. So I went to this place here, southerncamerofirebird.com, and got these little screws here. Let's see if we can get a focus on that. Uh, there you go. So you just you just drill out where the old stud was. You grind it flat and then drill out with where the old stud was and just screw that in. Uh, you know, obviously drill a little pilot hole first. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting it for years. Um, so they went in pretty good. I put a little JB weld on the threads of them before I screwed them in. Just to, I don't know if it's going to help or what, but hopefully it'll kind of weatherproof it a little bit and keep water from getting back behind there and penetrating a little bit and maybe maybe just reinforce them just a little bit I think. And I wanted to also give a huge shout out to ASIC Eric uh, and his channel. Uh, you can find it up here. I'll put a little little thingy that flies out for his channel. Uh, he, he, I've been watching his videos lately and man I'll tell you if you want some good detailed body work uh, especially if you're doing it in your garage at home like like the rest of us weekend warriors are uh, go check out his channel and he's he's very detailed and doing an awesome job on his on his car i believe he's doing an ls swap um and it, it's going to be bad you know this this type of stuff right here phew, man eric will take care of that stuff he that stuff doesn't even bother him to me it scares the crap right out of me but he'll take care of that stuff lickety split so go go give him a watch check him out uh he's He's giving me a shout out on his channel and I really appreciate it. He... So <clears throat> the last video, the dash, I got in. Um, I'm not very happy with some of the gaps that are like here. And, you know, I've tried everything I can do to, to get it to push up against there. But as you can see, it doesn't do much. It just stays where it's at. And... The driver's side is a little bit worse. Uh, man, I'm just not 100% happy with it. I'm probably overthinking it. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good gap. Um, and it, it sits a little proud, too, from... See there, it sits a little proud off the metal. You can see that line where it comes up. And there's really just no place to clip it on this portion of the dash to get it to lay flat there's a couple of screws that are up underneath up underneath here but there's nothing to screw them into except for the urethane so oh sorry got distracted by a by a notification for lunar outlaws garage on facebook somebody posted something to that go check that out that's that's pretty cool pretty cool little page that he started up there um, so yeah, anyways, I just, I don't like the way that fits. I'm going to have to live with it. It's in, it, it was, man, it fought me every single step of the way. So it is what it is at this point. I'm not taking it back out. It's not happening. I decided to take the carburetor off right there and wanted to take it off because it's been sitting for a while. So I went ahead and got a rebuild kit and just taking it apart and cleaning and and getting everything kind of blowed out and cleaned up here's an interesting thing if you guys ever get these blue supposed non-stick gaskets for these uh edelbrock carburetors for the 1406 and 1407s and stuff uh <laughs> they do in fact stick by the way so don't be fooled they stick and you cannot get them off without absolutely destroying them i mean look at that there's no way to salvage that parking brake it's hooked up let me get up underneath there and get a shot yeah there we go parking brake cable and all that there's my fusible link for the for the choke um new uh speedometer oh not there right there 
new speedometer cable um, because the the cruise master that's on this thing from the factory comes with two speedometer cables one from the speedo to the cruise master and the other goes into the transmission from this cruise master module here you can see the two spots in and out and they're two different sizes so <laughs> you can't just run the one from the speedometer into the transmission you actually just have to go buy a new speedometer cable for a well essentially for a car that doesn't have cruise control and that'll work for you so anyhow I'm kind of spinning around sorry guys i'm hope, hope everybody's not throwing up all over their keyboards but let's let's i want to show you guys the uh parking brake cable just in case anybody ever has to do one of them if I can get some light in here there we go let's see okay so here here it is right there so that one goes to the passenger side and it connects in with this little turnbuckle thing right there then this cable that's running through this piece goes to the driver's side drum comes up loops through and then connects with that rod and then goes up so before I can get this carpet in I got to get these these uh I guess they're wire guards um, cleaned up and kind of get the rust off of them a little bit they go they go right here right they cover that they cover up that channel right there where all those wires are tucked away in uh, driver and passenger side so um, they're not seen uh, they go down first and then the carpet goes over the top of them and then there's a, a chrome seal plate that covers the carpet that's on top of those like hundred and fifty four dollars for a pair of them which is not too bad but when you've already spent thousands on parts and stuff like that you you, you kind of get a little wore out you know your your wallet starts to groan every time you open it so I'm gonna try to refurbish these clean them up uh, get the rust off of them spray them with some uh, rust converter or try PR 15 if I can find some uh, so I'm gonna get to work on those and see what it looks like after we get done well here's what they look like after just a little bit with the flap disc on the grinder um, there's the before and after I guess you could say or one's done and the other's not okay I got the carburetors hooked back up uh, stabbed myself about 37.5 times in the finger trying to get those uh, worm gear clamps on the fuel filter there it's all in unfortunately I'm fresh out of gas so <laughs> we're gonna have to wait for a startup video probably do that on the next video and just see see how it goes maybe a cold start video I don't know those are those are all the rave nowadays aren't they so carbs in done and my wire guards we were working on earlier they're done um, I went ahead and put some undercoating stuff that I used on the floors underneath the car there's still a lot of pitting in them. A few rust holes here and there. You can see some of them right over there. And here's what those wire covers look like once they're in. Uh, then the carpet, like I said, goes over that. And then you've got the Body by Fisher seal plate that runs over the top of all that to kind of dress it up and pretty it up. You can see a little bit better over there. You see how the wires are running into running into a channel there and those those sill plates cover up the channel. I'll do a cold start video the next time I post and we'll see how she runs. Maybe do a little carburetor tuning, stuff like that. So see how all that goes. See how everything pans out. But anyways, that will do it for this video.